Hi friends, welcome to Sunil Engineering Academy. I am Sunil. We have already completed Physics class 1 to class 13. This is Physics class 14. In this class, I am going to discuss optical instruments, interference of light and dispersion of light and Doppler effect. Some students asking doubt on the lens or mirrors which converges the light or which diverges the light. Here I will give you two important points then you will get clear idea on the lens or mirrors which diverges the light or which converges the light. Here the concave lens or convex mirror listen carefully concave lens or convex mirror diverges the light diverges the light and second point convex lens or concave mirrors converges the light okay next one coming to optical instruments optical instruments the main important optical instruments are camera microscope and telescope first of all coming to the camera all of us know about the camera here we discuss about old cameras that is film cameras are real cameras okay here the camera consists of light proof box it consists of light proof box and at one end at one end on which a converging lens are fitted converging lens are fitted and at another end at another end a light sensitive film is fitted light sensitive film is fitted so camera consists of light proof box at one end on which converging lens system is fitted and at another end a light sensitive film is fitted opposite to the this lens system here the important term regarding to this camera f number of f number for a camera this f number is very very important it represents the size of aperture size of aperture and this f number is given by focal length focal length of the lens by diameter of lens diameter of lens and here the amount of light entering into this camera is directly proportional to the area of aperture area of aperture that is amount of light entering into the camera is directly proportional to the area of aperture and it is directly proportional to the diameter square of lens okay and here one more point the brightness of image the brightness of image this is this is proportional to the d square by f square here d is the diameter of lens f is the focal length of lens okay next important optical instrument that is microscope all of us know about this microscope which is used to see the very small objects very small nearby objects so what is the microscope and the, the instrument which provides magnified images magnified image of very small nearby object so in this way we can see the small objects as bigger in size 
bigger in size. These microscopes are mainly two types. That is first one, simple microscope. Simple microscope. That is, it is also called as magnifying glass. It consists of converging lens of small focus length. Small focal length. Consists of converging lens of small focal length. And the second one, compound microscope. Compound microscope. It is a combination of two convex lenses and separated by distance. It is combination of two convex lenses separated by distance. By distance. Okay. And these two convex lenses are one is the lens nearer to the object, that is object lens, which is nearer to the object. And second one is eyepiece. Eyepiece. It is nearer to the eye. Okay. Here, in this case of compound microscope, it is a combination of two convex lens, which are separated by distance. One lens is object lens and another is eyepiece. The object lens, which is the object lens? It is nearer to the object. The lens nearer to the eye is eyepiece. Okay. Next important optical instrument is telescope. All of us know about this telescope. It is used to look at very large distance object. Very large distance object. Such as stars, planets. Okay, and this telescope is also combination of two convex lenses, two convex lenses, one is same as that of a microscope, one is objective lens and second one is eyepiece, it is nearer to the object, it is nearer to the eye, these two are separated by a distance, okay. And the next one, interference of light. Interference of light. Here, if you take two light waves, two light waves, which are similar frequency, the frequency of these light waves are similar, with a similar frequency, and having zero or constant phase difference here, we take constant phase difference or zero phase difference then they are propagate in a medium separately in same direction due to their superposition maximum intensity maximum intensity obtained at few points and minimum intensity obtained some other few few points then this phenomena is called interference of light okay and that means here the redistribution of energy due to the superposition of waves is called interference you can say that redistribution of energy due to the superposition of waves is called interference of light. Here, the interference taking place at points of this maximum intensity are called constructive interference. Constructive interference. If the interference taking place at minimum intensity, then it is called destructive interference destructive interference okay and the examples of this interference when kerosene oil spread on the water it seems to be a decent color due to this interference if we spread 
kerosene oil into water then it seems to be a decent color this is due to the interference interference of light and another example is soap bubbles soap bubbles have brilliant color brilliant color because of this interference of light okay and the next important phenomena is diffraction of light diffraction of light what is this diffraction of light it is nothing but bending of light around the corners it is bending of light around the corners or the light we can say that the light deviates from its actual path the light deviates from its actual or linear path is called diffraction okay so we can say that it is the phenomena of bending of light around the corners and the spreading of light with geometrical shadow of apex obstacles is called diffraction of light the observation of this diffraction is due to this diffraction high quality microscopes microscopes show blur images blur images this is due to the diffraction of light okay next topic doppler effect doppler effect of light we have already discussed this doppler effect of sound here the doppler effect of light here whenever there is a relative motion between source and observer then an apparent frequency of light received by the observer is difference from two frequency of light that is whenever there is a relative motion relative motion between source of light and observer then the apparent frequency apparent frequency of light received by observer by observer is different is different from true frequency of light to true frequency of light this is the phenomena of doppler effect that is whenever the source of light and observer approach each other approach each other this is the source if you take this is the source of light and this is the observer they are approaching each other then the change in frequency then the change in frequency is positive that means here the apparent frequency is increases the apparent frequency is increases it is called blue shift it is also called blue shift whenever the source and observer are approached to each other the apparent frequency of light is increases this is called blue shift if they are away from each other then the apparent frequency will be decreases that is called red shift if source and observer away from each other from each other then the apparent frequency is apparent frequency is decreases that means change in frequency is negative this is called red shift red shift whenever there is, it is a source of light it is observer they are away from each other then the apparent frequency is decreases and the change in frequency is negative this is called red shift 
and the uses of this Doppler effect. This Doppler effect. The first one is to measure the speed of stars or rotation of sun. Measure speed of stars and also galaxies or speed of rotation of sun. Rotation of sun. The Doppler effect is used. And also for estimation of velocity. Estimation of velocity of planes. Aeroplanes or rockets or submarines. Of submarines. Uses this Doppler effect. Okay. Okay, friends. Finally, the very important and huge topic that is light is completed. Okay. In the next class, we will discuss the remaining topics of physics. We will complete within three to four classes. The after that, I will start chemistry. Okay. Please subscribe this channel and also share this channel to your friends. Thank you friends.